Let's give an overview of the bookmap data columns you see on the right hand side of the bookmap chart next to the price ladder. At the moment we're looking at a current order book or COB column that you can see here. This is your depth of market or your dome. Let's right click here and you can see all the different options available. You can configure this particular column and then you can see all the different data types that are available here. Currently selected is the current order book, but you can also look at a volume column, a trades counter column, quotes counter, quotes delta, uh, all sorts of different options for a trading dome, uh, for also for notes, different options, and a time and sales column. Now, we're gonna go through uh, each of these different data types here in a separate video, but we'll select here down in this section, insert a new column, or you can also hide a column. Let's insert a new column here and off to the right pops a new column. So now let's right click here and we'll select volume column. Okay, and you can see that now we have a different data type here. Let's right click again and you can note that there's different sections now available for this different data type. Okay, you can look at a session accumulated, chart range accumulated. You also have some options available for resetting this volume column. As noted, we'll go through all the different options here for each data type. Now, uh, if you hover over the top of the different data columns, you can see that the data tip tool here gives you the heading uh, of what uh, column you're looking at here. So COB stands for current order book. CVP over here stands for chart range volume profile. You can also hover over the dividing line between these two different columns and you can either left click hold and widen out the column or narrow the column if you like. You can also grab it by the uh, header here and you can move it to a different configuration for your layout. So you can very quickly configure your chart layout in your data columns here. You can even left click hold and drag it to the other side of the chart if you like. Okay, That's a, a quick overview of the different data columns here. Let's just uh, end up here. We'll right click and hide the column here and we're back to our COB column.